Okay, in this video, we are going to look at DC current sensing and measurement. Now we're going to be using this little breakout board here using the MAX 471 IC. Now this IC can take an input voltage of 3 to 36 volts and can measure up to plus or minus 3 amps. Now inside the IC, there's a, there's a sensing resistor and it's across these two terminals that we see here. Now this resistor is a very low value, it's 35 milliohms. So if we apply our plus voltage supply to one side of the resistor, another side of the resistor we feed to our, our load to ground, then the current flowing through the resistor will be the same current flowing through our load. Now the IC, the MAX471, takes the, the voltage drop across that resistor and it calculates the current, and that's the current flowing through our load. Now if we look at the back of the board, we can see the two terminals, that's our sensing resistor, that's our a sensing resistor plus and minus. And they're actually connected to the outer terminals on the bottom pins. Now we have our sensing resistor as our first pin, the second pin is our ground, third pin is our voltage output. So we'll get a voltage output of one volt per amp, and we can feed that into an A to D converter on our nano, and we can actually calculate the current through our load. So it's very simple, the, the voltage out is actually the current through the load. Now the next pin is the sign pin. It actually will tell which way the current is flowing, if it's flowing in this direction or that direction. And in battery-powered operation, it actually gives us an indication of, of discharge and charging uh, feature. The next pin is a ground pin, which is the same as the other ground pin. And the last pin is our sensing resistor ne uh, minus, negative. So we'll mount this on a breadboard, and we'll power it up, and we'll see how we can actually measure current using the MAX471 IC. Okay, here's the wiring diagram of our MAX471 current detection and measurement. If we look at the left, we can see our power supply, so it ranges from 3 volts to 36 volts. So the negative is connected to the ground, and a positive is connected to the RS+, plus, which is our sensing resistor plus. And I've drew in the resistor, that's our resistor between the two terminals, and the output goes to our load to ground. So the current from our power supply through the resistor, through the load to ground, the same current flowing through the load will be flowing through the resistor. And here's our sign output that indicates which way the current is flowing. So it's, if it's flowing from here, this RS plus to RS minus, then the output will be high, saying it's in discharge mode. And if the current is flowing from RS minus to RS plus, then it's in charge mode and the output will go low. So that's our sign, it'll actually tell us the direction of our current. And here's our output pin, and that will put a voltage of 1 volt per amp. So we'll get an output of 0 to 3 volts, which will equal 0 to 3 amps. So it's pretty simple, we feed that into our analog to digital converter on our Arduino Nano, then we actually could calculate the current through our load. Okay, I have my MAX 471 breakout board mounted on my breadboard together with my Arduino Nano. Now my Nano is getting powered through the USB port, so it's getting 5 volts through the USB port, and I have a 0 to 12 volt power supply feeding one end of the sense resistor on the MAX 471, and on the other end of the sense resistor, it's connected to the load. Now the load in my case here is a light bulb. It's an automotive light bulb, 12 volt light bulb. And right now it's drawing about 1 amp. So the output of the MAX 471 breakout board is fed into channel A0 of the Arduino Nano analog to digital converter. So it's monitoring the output voltage of the MAX 471. So the output voltage of the MAX 471 will be 0 to 3 volts which will equal 0 to 3 amps. So that makes the code running on the Nano very simple. Okay, here's the code running on my Nano for my MAX 471 current detection and measurement. And it's written in fourth. It's very simple, and I'll go through it quickly. So the name of my program is question mark current. So if I type that from the keyboard, it'll, it'll give me back the current flowing through the load. So the first thing I do, I select channel A0. That's my analog to digital converter, A0 on my Nano. And it will set bit 6 of the ADC SRA register. And that will start to conversion. That will start the A to D conversion. Then it goes into a begin until loop. And it will wait for the conversion to be completed. So it will wait for bit 6 to become reset. And when it's reset, that means the conversion is over. And then it will read location hex 78. That's where the value will be. Now we do a little bit of math. We do a little bit of integer math with fixed point. And there's my 5 volt reference. And there's my 1024 steps for my ADD converter. So this is my math 
my fixed point math and it's very fast and this will give me my display of my output current and it will, it will actually put the decimal place in the proper space that's your ASCII 46 that's your decimal place then it will print the value of the current and then it will, it will print amps so that's the program and if you want to run this continuously we just type question mark current many and that, that will run the program continuously and we'll get a continuously readout of the current flowing through the load okay I have my circuit up and running with my load connected my automotive light bulb is connected to my max 471 breakout board which is drawing about one amp and I have my nano connected to my computer through the USB port so I could actually monitor the output of the max 471 through my Arduino nano and I got a serial terminal program running called TerraTerm so we could actually get into the nano and monitor the output of the max 471 so I'll give it a command question mark current so we'll actually read the current that's flowing through our load and it's well, just a little bit of well over one amp now we could run that continuously I'll go current I'll do that many times so you can see it's it's just over this a little bit over one amp and I'll turn up my power supply I'll bring up the current my light bulb is getting brighter it's getting brighter I'm bringing it up to about one and a half amps no, I don't want to go too high and I'll bring it down bring it all the way down below one amp so using the max 471 chip it's very easy to create a current monitor because the voltage output equals the current output okay now you know how the max 471 IC works it's pretty versatile now Maxim does not make the Max 471 anymore. The replacement is the Max 4071. And the difference is the sensing resistor is external. So you have to come up with your own external sensing resistor. But there's plenty of these breakout boards available online. And they're pretty inexpensive. So I hope this video gives you guys some ideas how to add current sensing detection to your projects.